Hi there. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we will be looking at the first chapter in the specification. More specifically, we will be looking at 1.4 in the specification. Feel free to look and refer to it to get more detail. Today, we will be studying 1.4 through the study of scatter graphs. In this video, by the end of this video, you should be able to draw and interpret scatter graphs and identify correlations. If you have the AQA Heinemann textbook of the first generation, refer to chapter 8 called correlation. In GCSE, you have studied three correlations, positive correlation, negative correlation, and no correlation. Note that positive correlation and negative correlation are linear. This means that they can form a straight line. In A-level statistics, you are expected to recognize non-linear correlations, such as these two shown below. If you remember from GCSE, one is an exponential graph, while the other is a parabola. The reason we can't say it's a quadratic is because we do not know how x behaves beyond this point. As we can see on the graph, from what we can see on the graph, it could even be a quartic. When comparing sets of two sets of data, always remember to look at the skills. As, two, as these two same sets of data, when drawn with two different skills, create two different lines correlation. In order to measure correlation accurately, the textbook recommends that we split the graph into four quadrants. First, split them into two halves by using x bar as a divider. x bar is a mean of x and is symbolized as a Greek letter mu. Then the same is done with y to create four quadrants. If majority of data is in these two quadrants, then it's a positive correlation. If, however, it is in the other two quadrants, like the graph here, then it is a negative correlation. Although this informs us that the of what type of correlation we are looking at, it does not give us a way to properly measure it. One way of measuring it is the PMCEC, the Product Moment Correlation Coefficient. However, this topic is for a different video. Now in 1.4, I couldn't find questions, exam questions specific to this. However, we will be going through example questions from the textbook. Here is an example question from the textbook. Feel free to pause and have a go. Okay, the table below gives it marks obtained by 10 pupils taking maths and physics tests. Plot a scatter graph and identify the correlations. So to do this question, you can plot it. you usually draw a graph and plot all your coordinates on the graph represent you could represent it maths as x axis and physics as y axis and and plot your data however for this question i'll be using the cg50 calculator so to use a calculator you select the fourth op fourth options which is spreadsheet and you enter your data as below so entering all your mass values in one row and all your um, physics values in another row. Then there, looking through the options, there is an option called graph. And using that option, you should be able to plot, plot your data. So to set your data, press set and then select your Excel range, which in this situation, we have 10 different values. So we have to select A1 to A10. And similarly, we have to select for y, range, for y cell ranges B1 to B10. Then we also have, additional to this, we also have an option of choosing the type of marker we want to use. So we can, let's say, I want to use a cross. And we can also select the type of color the cross is. So let's say I would like to use black. And then we can press execute to save the settings. And on pressing graph one, it gives us an option of plotting our data. And additional to this, to cal in order in order to calculate the date and the mean values, you can press calc, 
untour again. And this will give you the mean, the sum of all the x values, the sum of all the squares, squares of x squares values, and so on. It also counts the number of values, and it does the same for y. So you get your y bar, all sum of all values of y, and so on. So when you plot the graph, when you plot all your data onto a scratch graph, you will end up with, with something that looks like this. And then plotting all your mean value, your x bar and y bar, as shown below, you should be able to identify the correlation. To identify the correlation, you need to identify that the areas in the bottom right and the top left of the graph in the bottom in the bottom right and the top left of the graph are almost empty so this clear so there is a clear tendency for the points to run from bottom left to top right this indicates a positive correlation exists between x and y so in other words it implies there's a positive correlation between the, the score attained by pupils in maths and physics Thank you for watching the video. Please do consider subscribing.